Um, hello, my name is William. Bueno, mi nombre es Terry Rosendo Sierra Lain. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Maudi. Quiero aprender para enseñar a los demás que, que quieren aprender robótica o que quieren saber un poco de lo que es robótica. Es un nuevo conocimiento. Eh, tener mucho conocimiento sobre ella porque creo que así nos puede ayudar a nuestra humanidad y bueno, hablar en todo el mundo. Equipo de Honduras Team Honduras República de Honduras Saw them yes. get over 100 points. The Blue Alliance unfortunately couldn't accrue any. But now we take it to even another game that's going on right now. That looks like they're already a minute into it. And we've got about 120 point spread. That Blue Alliance of Honduras, Ireland, and now Armenia. Apologies for that lack of uh, earlier on in the game and the confusion. It looks like they're doing a great job so far. They're currently they're putting on cubes onto the combustion plant in the upper part of it so they'll enter 20 points for each India is all extended and ready to go as well as Armenia now on this currently now on that, on that field you actually saw solar panels that were actually dropped they looked more like obstacles and they were helping either team yes you know each team gets 10 solar panels they can only place five so that's in case they drop one or so they have other solar panels they have more options in order to place them up but you're right, maybe if they drop something in the middle of the field, that might become an obstacle. And it was even closer, you saw just right by that village, those two solar panels were yes. dropped right beyond that line, but their human players can't pick it up unless it goes over that line to activate it. So they're so close to getting those points yet so far. And we've got, we've got 17 seconds left on the match. We'll have to see what happens in this last instance of the match. Sebas, do you have any comments? Yeah, I'm going to the board in the blue line, as well as India. The match is, going, is coming to an end, and three teams in the Blue Lions are already parked. And the match ends. We have a Blue Lions clear advantage over. And as we said before, we can see the celebration from the teams right there, right next to the field. They're celebrating because of everything, everything they've worked for in this last. Yeah, so I was gonna Months. say I was gonna say the emotion that they have and the smiles, it's reflected not only in the opening ceremony. You saw those countries come out and walking with such pride, but it's gotta be so much more validating and, and even a bigger confidence boost once you see that win come out. So the graphics up and it looks like we've got the blue alliance with the win. Seven hundred and seventy seven points. Astounding first match for that blue alliance. Yes, that's a lot. And again we can see the exact same result. It looks like the solar factory was a very big element or it was a very important element for them in this match. And then the parking bonus as well. It looks like they got all three of their robots parked, which is uh, the equivalent of that 50 point spread that you see towards the bottom. No penalties so far in any of the matches that we've seen. That's been a fortunate occurrence. Hopefully we can continue that trend. The reaction plan looks like has not been focused or featured on in the last few games, even though in the first game of the day it really was, I think. Yeah, because the know, cooperation bonus was I achieved. think it's a, it's a very difficult element to focus on because both alliances have to work on it. Our sponsors are gr very grateful for their support, not just financially, but also in the mission that we at First Global have. But we're going to take it down to the field right now. So you can hear the crowd cheering for Team Costa Rica, who's playing with Team Namibia and the Seychelles right now against Burkina Faso, Honduras, and Team Bangladesh. And you know, Tim, we can already see the Red Alliance getting an advantage over the Blue Alliance because of those two solar panels that they were able to deposit early on in the game. But, I mean, we still have two more minutes on the match. We're going to see how this develops, and it looks like they've already caught up. So... We're going to have to see this seems like it's going to be a pretty high scoring match. We've got a minute and 45 seconds and we just we're just seeing the Red Alliance being able to deposit two power line cubes into their power station. We're seeing Team Honduras getting a hold of a solar panel and they're delivering it super quickly. I'm actually impressed about how fast they're doing it. They already have four solar panels on their solar panel grid. I think that's what's giving them the edge over the Red Alliance. You know, they've got 140 points almost. 
and still we've got a minute and 20 seconds left on this match. Now another personal anecdote I feel the need to inject in here because it is of the personal touch that we so readily emphasize here at First Global. I was fortunate enough to interact with some of the representatives from Team Honduras uh, just a couple of days ago. And suffice it to say that every team in attendance has something to play for. But last year we had the pleasure of interviewing Father Paul Manship in DC. He joined me in the booth from Team Honduras. Uh, and unfortunately he actually recently passed away. The team that is now joining us from Team Honduras is not only competing in his honor, but for their country as well. And we could not be more proud of them. I know he would say the same. I, I know he will, too. he would. So we got about 45 seconds left right here. And, and it looks like that angelic touch is working out just fine because right now they've got about 200 points, actually 250 points ahead of the Red Alliance on the opposite yes. side of the field. And it is because they got those solar panels so early in the game and they've been just adding points ever since. So with 25 seconds left, we still got about 300 points difference between them. Again, seeing these robots frantically try to get any last second points that they possibly can. We'll see what the action brings us. We just saw Team Namibia make its way all the way through the ramp. And we're going to see if in this last 10 seconds, some other teams can do the same in order to get those 15, 30, or 50 extra points from climbing the ramp. And this match is about to be over in, well, it's actually over now. Time's up. We're going to wait for the official scores from this match. Today, one of the themes that we have been emphasizing in the booth is support from all angles, whether it be financial support from sponsors, be it support from volunteers, be more emphasize, I would say we emphasized that more yesterday. Yes. But even working our way up the pipeline towards the officials who truly write into law and make things possible from the top down, we want to take a look at some of those political change makers now. To closing follow. ceremony. We've got a lot of surprises left in store, including the first game. Let's take it down right now. So they're going to be delaying the games with some difficulties. We are going to be actually mentioning some of those extra awards, I believe. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. If you look at us in the booth, we've got plenty of paper in front of us because there are a lot of names to read off. Marlene, which where, yes, so uh, you where know, do we leave off? We only have one award left, and it's actually um, f for an outstanding mentor. You know, we've had mentors up here with us on the booth for the whole weekend, and just these are some mentors that the judges wanted to recognize for going above and beyond the Call of Duty for their team. And so the mentors who are actually receiving this recognition, congratulations to the mentor from Morocco, the mentor, mentor from Benin, the mentor from Team Africa, the mentor from Team Jamaica, the mentor from Team Tunisia, and the mentor from Team Brazil. So again, a mouthful of awards. We want to make sure that we are celebrating the occasion for a lot of the different teams that we have here. And finally, that robot connection issue has been fixed. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in this first playoff round. Again, we have China, Kitabas, and Israel competing against Spain, Honduras, and Lithuania. The winning team will advance to that next round. They still maintain that same alliance. And you know, Tim, we've only seen, what, 15 seconds of action, and we can see how the Blue Alliance already has one solar panel on their solar grid, solar panel grid, and they already have the wind turbine turned on. So again, part of the fact that we had a delayed start was because of that robot connection issue, but right now we are connecting the dots on this field of play as the playoffs start their way here. The Blue Alliance has some of those power line cubes that they are putting into their village. You see a solar panel being picked up on the other side. We're just seeing Team Lithuania trying to deliver what seems to be a solar panel into their power station, and we can also see Team Honduras delivering what I believe to be another solar solar panel into the station. We're going to have to see if they're able to do it, because it looks like it's stuck. Now, we've got 15 points separating these teams with everything on the line to play. Think about all the work that has gone into making all of this possible, and only two and a half minutes separating these teams. And you know, Team the Red Alliance seems to be catching up because of those that fourth solar panel that they actually got to hang up. So we just saw a double score in that combustion um, chamber right there. We saw the top goal get scored in, and then that bottom goal get scored in. That would be 25 points, because the top is worth 20, bottom is worth five. Yes, we've been seeing a lot of teams trying to achieve that high goal. We can now see, actually, Team Honduras. No, I'm oh, sorry, Team Israel. Oh, we have a connection Israel. issue down there as well. We look like we have a little bit of a tangle going on. We'll see if uh, we can get a replay. But right now, it looks like two of our robots are entangled with about a minute left to play. They're both trying to navigate their way out of it. We'll see what ends up happening here. It looks like one of the cables got entangled, and we can see the replay right now on the screen. And again, this kind of traffic happens all the time, but in the most in, in the most extreme of cases in these playoffs, it's definitely the last thing you want to have happen or see. Of course it is, but I mean, oh, we can see some 
parts of the robots actually being left there on the field. We're, we're going to have to see if the robots can actually continue playing this match and even though without you, them. And even though you feel for both of those robots and the teams that are in very involved with them, the other two robots for both alliances are very much trying to get as many points as they can. This game is neck and neck. Heck of a way to start this playoff round. We just dropped that solar panel on the Blue Alliance, but they also already have their five up in the array, so they're getting as much as possible. We're going back and forth right here, ladies and gentlemen. We can see Team China trying to get some 60 points for the Alliance. Let's see if that can make a difference. It looks like it did, and we're down to the last seven seconds of the match. So the Red Alliance has jumped to a healthy lead, but we'll see if they can hold it for the last five seconds. They sprint to the finish. We'll see how it ends up. <laughs> what a hell of a way to start this playoff. I mean, I, I'm out of words, you know? This has just been so, so nerve-wracking to watch those two robots getting tangled, but then still both alliances came out with some amazing scores. Incredible job to both sides. Again, under the time crunch, which only with only two and a half minutes, again, there is no room for error here. There are no more dress rehearsals. There are no more consolation matches. It is a one and done situation in a couple of brief moments. We're gonna get those judges tabulations. We'll get them to you and we will see who is advancing to the next round here. Tim, I can't wait for the final scores to come along on the screen. If, if you are just joining us for the playoffs here, again, an unbelievable start to this situation here. We just had those 48 teams put into these alliances and they're competing with admirable qualities on both sides of the spectrum here we had that red alliance hitting 804 points it looks like meanwhile the blues hitting 755 now part of the reason why it's taking a little bit longer to get these scores back to you is because again of the implications being in a playoff round there is everything on the line right now we don't have the scores so we are going to continue trying to fill some of that time yes and you know tim i just want to mention how we're seeing the exact same strategy from both teams. They both tried to get, okay, looks like we got the score and the Red Alliance gets the win. Congratulations to Team China, Team Kiribati, and Team Israel for making it into the next round. And I also want to congratulate Team Spain, Team Honduras, and Team Lithuania for, you know, everything that they've done in this competition they've gotten so far and we just, we have to congratulate them. We've been continually emphasizing this throughout the tournament here that everybody indeed is a winner. Possibility, every single variation possible. And with some of those smaller teams, you had mentioned the different responsibilities. If you've only got three people on the team, it's yes. gotta be a little bit harder. I mean, you can have the two people driving and one person as a human player. As long as you have someone on the field, your team is scoring. Uh, but it looks like we've got a game on the screen right now, so let's see what's going on. Yeah, apologies for giving you a little bit of misinformation there. I thought it was the last match. It seems like we've got a few more, but I know those who are at home watching are ecstatic about that fact. So down to the field with the two-minute well, two warning in the game that we currently see on the TV screen. So now here we have two meals ready, and they are starting to power off their lines. They're also Team Spain delivering some power cubes to the, um, to the combustion plant. Look at how fast is Spain delivering those three cubes in the top container, earning it 60 points. Oh, it dropped one, it dropped one, but it landed right on the lower goal, so it's earning five points. Now, believe it or not, when we talk about trying to bridge uh, cultural connections, one of the teams that we see on the Blue Alliance is Team Slovakia. Uh, this team comes, I believe, from the capital of Bratislava, which is where uh, they hail from. It's the only capital, honestly, in the world that borders two countries. And the staff of Slovak and Slovenian embassies actually meet once a month with their colleagues to exchange wrongly addressed mail. So <laughs> even though that's a little fun fact for the side, you see both of those nations coming together and still trying to solve some problems. Very different than the ones we're talking about, but still. One minute left in the match, and we got a competition cube in the Blue Alliance. Let's see if the Red, uh, if the Blue Alliance can get a blue cube to the Red Station. Cayman Islands working in that Red Alliance. Again, we had Glenda Lynn McTaggart earlier on. She is down there right now rooting for her team. They are having a very good job right now with 45 seconds left, and they've got about 600 points on the board. We're going to have a replay for you in a second of a robot falling. A lot of contact happening right now in front of that combustion plane. Tell us what's going on. It looks to me like they're trying to flip it over. Yeah, it's trying to flip it over. You're going to hurt it more than flipping it over. Oh! Not only that, but then injecting. They got those 60 points. Hopefully, if they can get into that combustion plant, we'll see in a couple of seconds here. So close. 20 seconds left. Oh, it just fell. Hopefully, they can bat it in with the wheel. I mean, they got it in the low score, so at least they got the five points. Yeah, they got two fuel cubes getting in their way. That's why they can't score. 
With 10 seconds left, we've got a close game. There Hopefully they can go. put those points in and then get to the parking. They got one key in the, in the, in the top goal. So it's 20 points for Team Slovakia. And, and now let's go see some replays from this interesting match. Oh. So a little bit of a destructive tendency, but it's all for the right purpose. They're trying to write that robot in the same alliance so that they can clear the way for the combustion plant. You know, Tim, I actually think that they were trying to move the robots over to the left so they were able to score on the high goal of the combustion yep. plant. Yep, yep. I mean, they had to do what they had, what they had to do, you know? Got to think on the fly in these yeah, games. You, you never know what can happen. sacrifice your robot for the match. Of course. <laughs> Now we're just waiting for this course and just for just to go back to what we were talking about earlier about any robots who had any designs. So we talked about the Cleopatra eyes. We talked about the amazing, was it fire uh, monkey? And I just saw in that match, correct me if I'm wrong, please, because I might have misunderstood the drawing, but I think it was a pirate octopus. Well, I'd be it quite was. interesting. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. So we're going to have another. We have the score that's going to be coming up right now, I believe, on the on the ticker tape. We got a 902 to 745 score. We'll see if it stands as they pull up that final score and how those points were allocated in a couple of seconds. We're also going to queue up a video for Team Spain that actually did just compete on this field. I know I had mentioned them earlier on, but the last match of the day is going to be coming up as well after that. So again, a lot of stuff going on. You can hear it going on behind me. A little bit of pandemonium as we finish this day up. And in the last two and a half minutes, we're going to try to take you down to that field to see it. Can we get down to the field to see if that match has started up? Yeah. We're here in the match, in field number two, the last match of the night. We have Team Tunisia, Europe, and Jamaica in their blue alliance. In the red village, here we have Ethiopia, Nigeria, and also we have um, Anglo Chinese school playing here. That's right, the match is about to start. Referees are working on something.